This is example 4.1. The problem reads, a man whose body mass is 75 kilograms stands still in an elevator motionless. Part A says, what is the force exerted by the floor of the elevator on the man's feet? Part B, the elevator begins to rise and does so with a constant upward acceleration of 1.5 meters per second squared. What is the force exerted by the floor of the elevator on the man's feet now? So to start, we are going to convert the man's mass, which is 75 kilograms, to weight. We do this by multiplying the 75 kilograms by the acceleration of gravity, which is 9.81 meters per second squared. That equals 735.8 newtons. We're going to come back to this later. So for part A, we have F net equals mass times acceleration. This is an equation we know, F equals MA, but keeping in mind that F net equals MA, which is the normal force minus the weight equals mass times acceleration. We're going to convert this now into just F net equals the weight plus the mass times acceleration. For the first part, when we know that the man is motionless, he's not moving up or down in the elevator, we're going to do his weight, which is 735.8 newtons. We're going to add that to his mass, which is the 75 kilograms times acceleration of zero, because he is motionless. So this is going to be canceled and this is going to be the man's F net. For part B, we have the man moving upward, so we're going to know that it's going to go in a positive direction. Cell acceleration, just our a free body diagram in the elevator. This is weight and normal force. Since we now have an acceleration, we're not going to use zero. So the new problem is going to be F net equals M A. F net is going to be the normal force minus the weight. So once we convert, we're going to use the same problem again. And he's going to be 735.8 newtons in his weight plus 75 kilograms, which is his mass times 1.5 meters per second squared, which is his new acceleration. This total comes out to be 848.25 newtons upwards. To check this, we'll show on the calculator. We do 75 kilograms times 1.5 meters per second squared, and we're going to add that to 735.8 newtons. You get 848.3, which is rounded up from 848.25 newtons up. And that's problem 4.1.